All right, this storage room is not cutting it anymore. I think it's finally time to build the ultimate automatic storage system. But first I need to do just a little bit of spawn proofing here. So let's get some glass and some sea lanterns. Now we'll just build a little platform. I don't need too much space. All right, now that we got a spot to build, let's start getting our materials. Okay, hold on a minute. We need a plan, boys. You see, I don't want to just build any basic sorting system. I want to build something that's really advanced. Something that has full shulker support and also has a big bulk section for a bunch of items. So I went online searching for a design and I finally came across one by the Glotify that he built for the Psycraft Blitz server. This storage has literally everything I need. Shulker support, a bulk section, and it even has empty slots for when there's new blocks added to the game. And on top of that, it's pretty compact, which is good. And of course, like any complicated redstone build, this is going to require a lot of materials. And one of the whole reasons I'm building this storage in the first place is really to just be able to access my materials faster. So before we do anything, let's first get everything I own, literally every item, and put them into one giant chest monster right here. So at the end of the video, we can kill it once and for all. Okay, so here we have every single item that I've ever collected in the world. Now, before I waste my time crafting a bunch of stuff I don't need, let's check in here and see what I already have for the machine. So here's the list of stuff we need, a lot of concrete and redstone components. So let's see what we got. Okay, so this is pretty much what I have, at least in bulk. I didn't want to sort through too many items. So let's just go down the list one by one and getting the rest of the stuff, and then we'll put it all on a chest and then move on to the next bit. First, we need gray concrete, now white stained glass, now hoppers and chests, now repeaters, all right, now comparators, now packed ice, slabs, Droppers, jack-o'-lanterns, target block, note block, and redstone block, dispensers, activator rail, obsidian, cobblestone wall, stone button, smooth quartz stairs, and a bunch of other miscellaneous items. Hold on, I almost forgot. We need some gold blocks as well. While we're here, let's actually get some extra. So a ton of you were commenting that I should make the tip of the pyramid golden like they have in like ancient Egypt. And I actually thought that would look really cool. So we got a bunch of gold blocks here and we'll really quickly just... All right, that looks pretty good, and I'm sure it'll look better from far away. But I kind of want to also add some lights to the pyramid, too. It gets a little bit dark at night. And we'll just light this up all the way to the top. Okay, I may have gotten a little carried away adding all these extra lights, but I think it looks really good now, especially with the gold tip. All right, let's get back on track. All right, well, we have a majority of the materials for the machinery bits of the sorting system, so we can at least get started on building. So, of course, I'm using the Lightmatica mod for this build, but even with that, I still have to be extremely careful how I place things. I have to make sure that certain items are inside hoppers and chests so that comparators activate properly, and one mistake could mean that the sorting system doesn't work at all, which would not be ideal. Okay, well, we have a pretty good start on the storage, but we're at the point where I need to get a couple more materials. Of course, the whole purpose of the storage system is to be able to store every item in the game right and to be able to store every item in the game first i have to get every item in the game because of course i need displays and filters and so to have the storage even work in the first place i need to have at least one or two of every item a majority of this stuff is pretty easy to get and relatively commonplace like wood and wool and glass but then of course we have some more difficult items so of course let's get the easy stuff first because i probably already have most of it anyway and i was right i did have most of the items there were a couple things that i was missing so i had to go out in the wild and get them in the game and to be absolutely sure that i didn't miss anything i literally wrote down every single item in the game on real life paper to make sure that I did not mess this up because this was not something I wanted to do again. Okay, so this is all the basic items in the game. The only thing we're missing is a couple of the more difficult items to get. So let's just go down the list of the last remaining items, starting with the ferns because I just have to go to a spruce village to get those. Okay, so we should be able to find ferns and chests in these villages. Oh wait, you can just mine them with shears. Okay, well we have ferns now. Okay, next on the list we need two conduits and I have a bunch of hearts of the sea but I don't have any nautilus shells and I need 16 in total. So it's time to go fishing. All right, that took way too long. I never want to go fishing again, but we have our conduits. All right, next we need these skulk items. And luckily, I know that just under here through this cave, we have ourselves an ancient and a warden. Holy shit. Uh, I did not know that guy was there, but here we have an ancient city and we can get everything that we need. Oh my gosh, that was scary. Okay, so first we just need some skulk, but I want to take out this sensor too. Get some of these vines as well. Okay, so that's enough sensors and vines. Now we just need normal skulk and two shriekers, and then we can get out of here. I also need catalysts. Get that shrieker next. 
Okay, one more catalyst and one more shrieker. There's a shrieker. Let's get this catalyst first. Okay, so that's everything we need. Now I should just be able to fly out of here. All right, well, we made it out. We didn't have to battle a warden, thankfully. All right, next we need Wither Roses, Beacons, and Nether Stars. And all of those things have one thing in common, and yeah, that's the Wither. And the way to get Wither Roses is by Withers killing passive mobs. So like sheep, pigs, cows, anything like that. So I think the best way to just multitask here and kind of get everything at once is really just to spawn two Withers and fight them both at the same time. This won't be a disaster, certainly. Come blow up these cows. All right, well, they don't really seem to want to kill these animals very much. Oh, there we go. There's one. Oh, I see another one over here. All right, now we just kill them. All right, I think I may need a little bit more firepower here. Wait, they heal. I actually don't know how I'm supposed to kill them. I don't exactly know how to get out of this situation. Maybe I can get them to follow me into this cave and they'll be a little bit more manageable. I just need them to fly down here. Yes, yes, come on down. Okay, I'm taking a lot of damage. Come on, let's get lower. Wait, they're in the water. This is huge. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of damage. Come on! Oh no. Come on, follow me. Follow me down here. I have one more totem remaining. I wasn't watching my health. That's my fault. Alright, let's end this. That's one! That's two. Oh, we did it. Okay, that was actually extremely difficult. <laughs> Usually I use this cool trick to just trap the wither here. And that's what we're going to be doing to get the beacons. Because I am not going through all that again. Okay, now the very last things on our list are end crystals, dragon eggs, dragon's breath, and that's it. And I think I'll fly around a while and get more than just what I need. And you'll see why. I think I'll kill two birds with one stone here. Now we craft this up. Okay, so I figured that since I have to respawn the dragon anyway, I might as well go ahead and do it 19 times so that I have all of the end gateways. And I can just get it out of the way and I won't have to do it again. Now, hopefully I don't destroy my concrete factory or the bridge. I'll do my best. All right, let's do this. One of 20. And that's one. All right, 18 more times. All right, that's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. Okay, now that we actually have every item that we need, let's finish up this system. The whole build was pretty smooth until I got up to the sorters. Remember, I had to manually place every single item in the game into these filters, and that's over 700 items. So this task was not the most fun, but I knew that this system would make future projects and builds so much easier since everything would be organized, so it was absolutely worth the grind. And finally, after almost 10 hours of building, the storage was done. Well, almost done. I still have to build the chunk loader, because without it, if I leave this area while the system is running, then yeah, I'm cooked, essentially. But this shouldn't take too long. Okay, so to make this work, first I need these coordinates, and then I simply just have to line up the schematic in the nether. Now I just build the thing. Now lastly, I just light all of these portals, and assuming they line up properly, this thing should work and the storage should be done. Now we go through here, please line up! Okay, yes. Now I should just be able to light everything else and it should be in the right spot. Now for the final test, I'll take one of these shulker boxes. We'll do this one because it has a good variety of stuff in it. All right, now we simply just put this shulker box in here and walk away. And in a couple minutes, everything should be in its proper spot. And if it's not, I'm going to be very sad. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Surely there'll be no problems. All right, does it work? We should have a bunch of slabs in here. Wait, here's all of it. So it is working, I just took too long i guess i don't know after running a couple more tests i figured out the problem was most likely that i just left the area too fast before the chunk loader activated so it didn't you know function properly so in the future i just can't leave as quickly i have to let the system kind of boot up first all right well the main infrastructure for the storage is done but obviously guys we cannot leave it like this and i have a really cool idea for the aesthetic for this storage i want to do futuristic on the outside and cozy on the inside so let's go ahead and do the outside first and of course to cover something this big we need a lot of materials so let's get to work all right the first things we need is 22,000 gray concrete and 6,000 orange concrete so we'll just dupe those first to get it out of the way now we need over 12,000 black stained glass so I guess I just need to uh...
Next, we need 4,500 magma blocks. And I am not building a farm for that right now. So let's just go mine them all. Next up, 4,000 blackstone. Okay, and the very last thing we need is 3,200 sea lanterns, which we're already here, so this should be quick. Okay, first let's start out with some walls down here just to cover up this lower part. I used the blackstone and the magma blocks to make kind of this splotchy pattern that would go under the black glass and then be surrounded by the concrete to give it kind of this cool futuristic effect that I thought looked really cool. Okay, this is a pretty good start. I really like the way the wall looks and it kind of just glows in the dark. Now, all that's left to do is just to build up the rest of the thing. So let's speed run that and then let's start working on the interior. For the top section, I kind of stuck with the same futuristic theme and added a couple sea lanterns to really just make it light up a lot more. All right, well, the exterior is done. Next, we got to do the inside. And like I said before, I want to make it kind of cozy. So I think we're going to go with spruce planks or spruce wood and then try to put like some plant life inside and just make it like a warm kind of cozy feel. So let's get a bunch of wood first. Okay, I got all my materials, so now we can start building. I had to move the portal a little bit further away because it kept lining up with the chunk loader and it was causing me problems. So I'm gonna build a little bridge out here and then we'll connect into the storage. So let's really quickly start with the floor. All right, this is a pretty good start. Now we just got to finish each of these hallways in the ceiling here and we're done. And with a couple more walls and some concrete for the ceiling, the build was complete. All right, now we kill this chest monster once and for all. I'm so glad I'm finally done with this storage. You guys have no idea how long this took to build. I do not ever want to have to fix this or do this again. 